Nesting has also been updated for PowerShell 2013 R2. Go into nesting as before. Select first the sheet of material and then select the component or components that you want to nest. Notice that it is now also possible to include a work plane in the selection. I can now either adjust the properties of the nesting here or click on more options to change the border, the number of parts, the rotation angle, etc. When I'm happy that everything is set, I click apply and the part together with its work plane is rotated and nested accordingly. The material usage shows you exactly how much of the material you've used so that you can quickly calculate how many more parts you can nest.